So you've got one of these. What do you do with it? Hi guys, I am that tarantula guy. Thank you for watching. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about slings. So, you've got one. What do you do with it? Now, the first thing I want to talk about is making the mistake. Now, when I first got into teas years ago, I made a big mistake buying my first tea. Um, I was looking online, as many of you probably do, and I found slings. Um, and they were mega, mega cheap. And I thought, oh my God, I'm into a bargain here. So I bought a couple and I bought a tank to put them in and had it all delivered. And yeah, it didn't go so well. Um, the tank that I actually got was like a, a five litre little critter keeper. And I got one of these. And I thought, what's that? And it wasn't until I opened it that I saw just how small the teas are. So yeah, I... Um, opened the box, found the enclosure and found this little pot and realized I had made a mistake. Now we'll open this one. This is, if you've ordered a sling or if you've been on any of the tarantula sellers pages, spider shop, uh, so many legs, um, any of those, the big ones, exotic pets, you know, there's a few, um, this is what they'll come in. This is what they call a pill vial, and there is a sling in here. Um, I'll open it up, and you should be able to see it down there. There it is. But this is how they come, guys. Um, it'll be in a little pot, there'll be a couple of holes in the top, and there'll be tissue paper packed inside. And the tissue paper is there to protect the spider during shipping and to keep the moisture in. Um, so yeah, let's go on and show you how I keep them. Now, down here, these are all our slings. And we have a few. Okay, so here are all of our slings that we've got at the moment. Um, we've got Vicularia Peru Purple. We've got two HMAX here. And we've got Sazamai, Sazamai, Branapes, Orphanacea Species Blue. And we've got LP, LP, Brachypelmer albiceps, another Brachypelmer albiceps. And we've got genicular, 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 genicular. And in here is another genicular. Uh, we have Gramistola pulchra in here. And I have a Pelinobius muticus or a king baboon in here. So now these are more than likely what you'll see around for slings they are pretty much i think the cheapest sling on the market at the moment you can pick up one of these for three quid i think they've got them for three quid on spider shop don't quote me i haven't looked um but yeah i'm pretty sure they're three pound so this is a pretty good place to start for a first sling they're pretty hardy um but yeah but they will grow like weeds, guys. We have loads of LPs. Um, we've actually got these two extra slings to grow, grow on to sell. And there is the hide under there, the water dish. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. 
uh, it's way down there in that burrow but yeah that's that's pretty much a, a setup for a sling uh, I have got one ready and I will show you we will get there so yeah these are LPs um, give me one second and I will get you a bigger LP so here we go this is Carl this is our big big juvie LP we actually have three juvie LPs at the moment juvenile LPs now we got this guy from a sling the same as the ones that you just saw and it's taken him uh, just under two years to get this big and I mean he's pretty big or she we're not sure on sex yet but it is big these things will grow like weeds guys so long as you feed them they will just grow and grow and grow and grow and they do get big so just be prepared if you have ordered an LP or if you've got an LP sling these things can get eight nine ten inch leg spans they get huge guys um, they are the third largest tarantula in the world I think again don't quote me that is kind of a guess but at least I'm honest about it <laughs> so yeah that's what they will look like and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger all right guys so this is my P. muticus this is my king baboon called King Mo now as you can see he is not very big well, she is not very big that is still tiny and I've had this for just under a year I think well either way we, I got this at last year's BTS and yeah this thing will take an eternity to grow. An eternity. Um, I've read that these guys can take up to eight years to get to maturity. Eight years! And even then, they've still got more life left in them after they do mature. So, yeah, that is an example, or the example, of one of the slowest growing tarantulas in the hobby. Um, we have another one. This is a Gramostola pulchra. Uh, we got this not too long ago. We'll see if I can see. There's the hide under there. And it seems to spend most of its time under there. There it is. You can see it under there. It's not very big. But yeah, Gramostolas, they're another species that will take a long time. Gramostolas and Brachypelmas, they all seem to take a very long time to grow. So, like I say, if you've bought a sling, just if it's your first tea, be prepared because you are going to be staring at that sling for a long time before it turns into something impressive so just be aware guys that when you order a sling it's it's not really ordering a tarantula because it will take a long time for it to get to the stage that you're expecting it to be okay so this is how we set up slings now these are just little craft boxes we got these out of the range, which is like a everything store we have here in the UK. Um, somewhere like Walmart or Kmart for those of you in America, Walmart, Target, those kind of things. They do everything. Same here. Um, I think they do these in Hobbycraft, Range, B&M, lots of places. But yeah, just a, a little tray with lots of these little boxes in. 
and they've got little clips that hold the lids down on the side. So all we do is, as you can see, we just drill holes all the way around the edges. Some in the roof, in the lid, so one in each corner there. So lots of airflow. And just it, exactly the same as you would for a terrestrial, just on a smaller scale. So as you can see, plenty of substrate in there. You've got a little water dish. Now for slings, our water dishes, if you can see it, there it is. For slings, we use uh, pill packets. Um, anything like if you've got some paracetamol or some ibuprofen, just the little ta capsule tablets, wait until you've taken or used up the pills and um, just cut, get a pair of scissors and just cut the little dips out, the little trays out where the pills sit. And we just use those for slings. So once you've got your substrate in, you've got a water dish in, spray one half of the substrate. Slings need moisture. So make sure you've got some moisture in there um, because slings, they will shed more often than fully grown teas because they're growing. So obviously, like when you're a child, you have growth spurts. From experience, I find some teas will have the same thing. They will not molt for a while and then they'll just go for a growth spurt and you'll have two or three molts within quick succession. Um, so yeah, make sure you keep at least one side of the tank moist. So now you've got your, your little tub set up. You get your sling vial. And this little one looks like it's ready to come up. There we go. You open your lid and you can see them inside. Now, as always, I have my catch cups ready. I have tongs ready. I've got paintbrush ready. Make sure you have everything ready before you do this. Make sure you've got lots of space. So yeah, what you want to do is tongs, get your tongs, reach in with your tongs and just grip the top of the, the little sling vial or pill vial. Just give the tissue a tug and it should just slide straight out. Just like that. See how it just slides out? All right, and you can put it down. Now, with this one, with this roll, you can see all the way through it. So, put one end down into your tub, get your paintbrush, and just gently ease it forward. There we go, nice little one is coming out. And she's out. There we go, she's just here. Good to go back inside, there we go. That's it, it's as simple as that. Get your lid on. And then you just put it straight back in its slot. Now, with arboreal teas, it is a little bit more different. They will still come in the same, exactly the same as this. You will get one of these with your arboreal inside. Now, with arboreal slings, it's a little bit more complex because with arboreal tarantulas, they need upward height rather than floor space so same if you haven't seen it already my 
housing arboreal tarantulas on a budget. Uh, exactly the same principle, again, just on a smaller scale. So, as you can see, with these two Hetroscoda maculatas that we have here, these are arboreal teas, and they will look like that. But as you can see, they are still in their sling pots. So when you've got arboreal teas, the best thing to do is open the lid, do exactly the same as you did with a normal, with a, a normal, a terrestrial. Take the tissue paper out. If you can keep the tarantula inside the tissue paper, take the tissue paper out, just set it aside. Um, then empty out this sling tub that it came in. Just pull all these tissues out. Then all you want to do is get a bit of substrate. Just like that. A little bit in there. See, give it a spritz with some water. And then all you want to do is look for something for it to climb on. Bear with me, I will have a look and see what I have. See, I've just got a bit of stick. Just break a piece of stick off. And jam that down. There you go. Just like so. Then you can get the tissue where your tea is. And again, you just ease it out and straight in. And it's as simple as that. It is pretty simple. The main thing that I would say for people that have bought slings is just be aware because slings take a lot more care than fully grown teas. So make sure you've done your research before you order a sling. Um, I personally would say slings are not really one for beginners. I would say stick to juvies, sub-adults and adults before you get into slings, just because they, they, they need more care, they need more looking after. Um, as with any baby animal, with, whether it be a puppy or a kitten or even a baby, I mean, I'll probably get some hate for comparing baby tarantulas to actual babies, but as with any living animal, they need more care when they're smaller. They need regular watering, they need the heat and the humidity to be on point quite a lot of the time, especially for molting. Um, I hear a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot on the comments, in the forums, about people that have got slings and they've died and they don't know why, or for lots of comments like so. So if you've got slings, just make sure you do your research on your species, whatever species it is, go and look it up. Make sure you know what kind of humidity it needs. Make sure you know how much warmth and heat it needs. Because a lot of these teas, as they're babies, will need heat. So if you live in a colder house or somewhere that doesn't have the heating on a lot or anything like that, it's more than likely you're going to have problems with slings. So with that said, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope I answered some questions. Um, stick around for Friday because we will have part two of my full collection tour which will be all of them, all the ones over the other side, all of these slings, we'll go through all of them. Um, so yeah, stick around for that. Anyway guys, I hope I've helped, I hope I've answered some questions. If you like the video, click the link, make sure you leave me a like, um, click the subscribe button if you're new. I do videos every Monday and every Friday. Um, yeah, make sure you go and check out the Instagram at that tarantula guy. 
Leave me a comment down below, click the bell so you know when I upload a new video and I will see you all on Friday for the next video. Have a good week guys, bye.